Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to, or welcome back, welcome to a Tuesday installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, uh, at least for the next seven-ish minutes or so. Hey, look, do me a favor. Whether you got here through SoundCloud, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, YouTube, however you managed to get here, I'm glad that you're here. And if you would now do me the favor of uh, just leaving a comment down there saying, hi, good morning, let me know how you're doing, just like Joe did. Good morning to you, Joe. Uh, I would appreciate that. It'll also do you the service of letting uh, Facebook know you're interested in the conversation that's going on here, and it will keep you informed about all the greatness that ensues after the show is over. And if you are listening in one of those other venues and you haven't found us yet, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com and join us. That'll get you to the right place. So today I want to talk a little bit about Yesterday we started talking about your why, and I left you with some homework. So I'm, I'm curious um, how homework went for you. If any of you out there completed said homework, leave a comment on that. Let me know if that was easy for you. The thing that uh, I sent you away with yesterday was to try and figure out um, kind of that root cause, the real why behind why you do what you do. And I gave you the the uh, good old engineering axiom of ask why five times. So it's really easy for a lot of people to get to the first why, but if you keep asking why, why do you want to do that? Why do you want that? Why do you want that? Super challenging to get to the fifth why. In fact, I said yesterday most people can't get past the second why with ease. Just curious how that went for you. So today I want to kind of play off of that a little bit as we um, have a chance to talk today about is it clear enough? So, you know, okay. I might have to work on that one, Joe. (laughs) Joe Joe shared his, but we might have to talk about that one. Anyway. Is it clear enough? Now, here and and here is uh, kind of the rule. Like we had five whys yesterday, today. Uh, it's really simple. How do you measure it? How do you measure it? Because if there's not a good way to measure it, then it's not clear enough. It's not something that you can pursue and actually tell whether you get that result or not. So um, I'm so I'll pick on you a little bit, Joe, since you volunteered and put that in there, so I can do what I want. So, well, the full. Th- let me read the full thing. So I can do what I want, when I want, and how I want. Uh, okay. So. Really, and and one of the things that we do to ourselves, right, is we trick ourselves about the truth, right? The, the, The truth is, with the exception of maybe how I want, you can do those things right now. Now, we put constraints around our definition of the truth or, or what we see as the truth. Perception is reality, okay? What we perceive to be true is really true for us, but it may not be true in the real world. If you look at a map, right, think about it this way. And, and I realized the other day, I'm not even sure if you can go in a convenience store and buy a map anymore, I guess they're still in there, especially the ones on the interstate. But, I mean, that used to be how you got around before, you know, we had these things with GPS built into them. But think about a map for a minute, okay? A map, just if you're going to draw a map between here in Birmingham or here in Nashville, 
then that is a snapshot in time. We, I, I drove down to Birmingham uh, last weekend to pick Vicky up. Uh, she came back from Houston. And there's that, there's an interchange there around I-20 and I-65 that seems to have been under construction my entire life. I don't think I've ever been through that intersection where there wasn't some construction going on. So whoever draws a map of that intersection is, has to decide Today's the day that I'm using as the basis for this map. It is a snapshot in time, right? So on the day that map was drawn, it could be a true representation of what that intersection looks like, but it still doesn't include all the potholes and the grooves and the, the bumps and whatnot. It, it's, a, it's a representation. It's not the real thing. So this this perception that we put around what we want is limiting very often. All right. So now to get back to the point. Yeah. Well, to stay within the law, that's always a good constraint for you, Joe. You, you know, to do what I want, I can do what I want now. I mean, if I don't want to work, don't work. If I want to cut the grass, cut the grass. Now, as Joe points out, there might be some constraints and limitations about having the funds to do it or having the, the, the wherewithal, but if there is something you want to do, even if it's not within the constraints of the law, there's very few things preventing you from doing that, right? All the other stuff we've added, all right? So don't so, so the question is, and this is really why I wanted to get to this today, is your why, you know, clear enough. Make sure that it's clear so that you can know whether you achieve it or not, number one. And then two, make sure that it's clear in the respect that you are not artificially limiting the outcomes. There are many things that we say that we want that we can have already. We just have to give up something else. And the truth is that we're not willing to give those things up yet. So um, be be really clear. And, and, you know, the the other aspect of that is there might be a way to achieve what you want without what you've decided is the way to do it. That's something that I run into as a coach very often is that I'll have people ask me the, or, or say, They've already thought through the process and said, okay, this is why I need 10 extra clients a month. All right, why do you need 10 extra clients? So I can make X amount of money. Why do you need X amount of money? So I can buy a plane. Why do you want to buy a plane? So I don't have to ride commercial anymore. All right, well, you might not have to go as far as buying your own plane to be able to get out of flying commercial. And just as an example, right? So be really clear on what the outcome is. Don't deceive yourself into thinking that uh, it's presently unachievable. Everything is achievable. And then don't constrain yourself by the one prescribed path to get there. You know, back to our road trip analogy, there's plenty of ways to get to Birmingham. I don't even have to go th- get to the airport in Birmingham. In fact, don't even have to go through that. I-20, I-65 interchange. But if I set my mind in a place where, oh, this is going to suck, this is a bad intersection, then yes, that experience is going to be bad. Uh, if I don't even consider going another way, I've done that to myself because there are other ways to get there. All right. I know that was a little, uh, that's a little meta conversation, more meta than we usually have here in the mornings, but I hope that that was helpful. If you found some uh, valuable nugget in there, I would appreciate if you would share it with your network. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. So about, actually about an hour from now, a little less than an hour from now, I'll be starting the radio show. You can listen to that live in Huntsville on WTKI Radio, 1450 AM and 105.3 FM. Uh, i got the new numbers up there in my head. Or you can listen online, WTKIRadio.com, the very best places right back here on the uh, Unashamed Nonconformist Facebook page. 
That's where you go if you go to 7 Minutes in the Morning or if you go to Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. Dot com. Both of those take you to the same place. You guys have a, I think they take you to the same place. You guys have a fantastic Tuesday. I'll be back again tomorrow with another installment. Seven minutes in the morning. Take care. <laughs>